and we're back with more nurse. What are you? Hey, hey, talk to me. I'm a grave rat. Okay. He openly admit to being a grave robber. Openly admits. He openly admits it. Openly. What are you? There's a town called Scaraba. It's a mysterious town. It's my dream town. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah. Maybe there's more stuff in here. I like these buildings. People are interesting. What are you? Do you know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number or reservation. If you want to get in. What? Yeah, I'll give you the secret number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you for giving me that secret number. I guess I gotta go to a phone now? Whoa! Hello, Jeff! Oh, happy day! I finally got hold of you! Oh, Jeff, it's me, Tony! Oh, that's the guy that helped me leave before. I'm collecting players' names for a school pro. Players just like you, that's right, you, the one holding the controller. Me? Oh, dude, nice. Don't spell your name wrong. Okay, let's put my name as... 12. Oh, no, not her. 12-bit... Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? 12-bit Tony. I apologize for any troubles might have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. I'll talk to you later, Jeff. I hope I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T-O-N-Y. You got that? I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Bye. Aw. Nice guy. Alright, so it looks like I gotta go call a thing. So we're gonna get to where there is a phone, which probably means... Oh, there's one in the shop. It's a dollar, but I can swing it. Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Ness, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We're looking forward to having you here. Thank you. That was weird. Alright, so I guess I'm going over to the Stoic Club. Whoa. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your re reputation of entropy supports my theory's space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. What? I finally am making the enemy the true self. Patrons call me on the stair and they're so hard. Enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm not comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my superego. My id is telling. Oh, you people are weird. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. Huh? <laughs> I really want to eat some magic cake. Mysterious work of art. Can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Magic cake. Absolute ironies in study of self identification blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. Mr. T, what are you doing in a place like this? You don't understand what the hell everyone's talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high price prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. I can't, uh, actually, it's easy business. Do you want a drink? You want to serve water, though. I'm good. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on the stage and philosophizes. Doesn't that sound stupid? It does. Well, not really. I mean, the philosophizing part's cool, but why do they have to stare at a rock and pay high prices for water? They can do that for free. I don't talk to you yet. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible! Well, sorry. I finally awakened the enemy, the true self. Aren't you the person who's, like, makes magic cake? What, what? 
Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes. Yes, I did. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little car on the beach later? I think we can do that. Before we do that, I'm gonna go check out... Because I don't trust magic cake. I don't trust cake that does crazy, that sounds like magic, probably meth in it. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the museum first. And see... I'm gonna check out the museum and see what I can see him. Uh, <gasps> random sign! Great sign. Die! Die, sign! Prepare to die! He did now. You won. I wanna go see if the museum has more than one dinosaur. What's with all these signs? Die! Alright, I got it. Lady. Scarable Cultural Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Sure. Three dollars per person. Study hard. All right. Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh. Ram raising the fifth's training pot. Ram raising the fourth's casket. Ram raising the third's casket. Toten Carmen's casket. <laughs> Toten Carmen's pencil box. Uh, chubby kid. Oh, I know who that person is. You're talking about Pokey. Hey, hey. I'm trying to read culture. Hey, culture. No. Culture. Oh, lunchbox. Nice. I'm about up here. <laughs> this room is being remodeled. Can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you'll understand. Uh, I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order. You are creepy. Alright, well, I guess that is all we really have to say for this. Not even a single dinosaur. Lady, you sicken me? I'm leaving this god pla godforsaken place. Can you believe that? Not a single dinosaur. All right, so let's go see where is it. Don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. All right, lady. I guess we can do that. Yeehaw! Is that a mole? Nice. Let's kill him. Yeah. Nice. Wake up in the morning, fall in love, eat lunch, fall in love, and at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. That's a pretty good way to be, buddy. What are you? You look so serious. You're in summer's a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. Maybe serious is fun to me. Do you ever think about that, lady? Are you dead? Lady! Oh my god! Lady! I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. I'm all fine. Okay, fine. Fine! Be that way. See if I care. Do it. Because I don't. I don't at all. Did Magic Kate Girl say she'd be on the beach? Is that her? I don't think that's her. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Nah, that's not Magic Kate Lady. She had more like pink on her being. Card on the beach. Card on the beach. Is it you? No. <gasps> You look like the girl that I followed into the Three Hotel and who knocked me out. Going this way then. Who are you? Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across, across the sea to Scaraba from Toto, the port town. Okay. <gasps> no! That's like twice in this one episode, I believe. No, no, I think that was in the last episode. Pictures taken instantaneously. My photograph is just a myself looking to reach out. The camera ready is here for a What a great photograph was you made, Facebook. It's my one. 
We've got some really spectacular things. What would you like? Gelato Deer Resort. I wonder what that does. Let's check. Ah, it feels good to have, like, all that inventory space cleaned up for Ness. Let's give the Escargo Express one more call, because I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff I can get rid of. Where is this? Hopsital. Oh, yeah, going for a place that has a phone, which would probably be the shop back here. What does that stuff do? Help. Ice cream that is all the rage among fashionable young women. When eaten, you're covered with 30 H 30 HP. 30 HP is barely enough to wet my mighty whistle. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Hey, hey. Ship. Ship. Are you magic cake lady? How annoying! Why are you wandering around? Posh resort made for adults. Fuck. Hell, where, where? Oh no, wrong one, wrong one. No. There we go. Hello, this is the Chicago Express. Is that you, Ness? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part time for the Chicago Express. What can I do for you? You want us to store something for you? We'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. Still can't get over how weird she sounds on the phone. Oh, is that her? Is that perhaps the Magic Cake Lady? Lady, are you for Magic Cake? I want to wait for Scarlet Express for- Oh god! This is the best. $18, you can go to the bar and take it to three things. Uh, you know what? You can go ahead and take the Franklin badge for now. Of course. There's always something else. Uh, we don't need the bad key machine anymore. And... Uh, let's see... I think the only other thing is the Magnum Air Gun, since you can't sell it. So. Yeah, alright, certainly. Thanks a lot. No problem. I mean, I, you look like her. I don't know who told you. You came for her to see my magic cake? I thought making keys would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover material. A very special magic cake. Well, I am looking forward to this experience. Whoa! 